Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin and this is our snack for the journey and we are at the end of the week again. Can you believe that? It's a Friday and this week we walked through the book of Haggai. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to go to, to see everything. There's a lot of stuff. In it's a small book but with a lot of message. The main message was for the people to go back to rebuild the temple. That was the goal. They left Babylon to come back after 70 years of exile to, to rebuild the temple, to restart the sacrifices and the, and the festivals and all those things. And, and that was the goal. And they were struggling personally. They had their uh, uh, opposition that um, against the rebuilding of the temple. And they thought that they, they would not have money enough, all that. And today we're going to see a very interesting verse because the people, some of those people, old people, because they are young when they left, and they, they survived the exile. Now they're back. So those people, they saw the original temple. They saw the Temple of Solomon. Beauty. Powerful. Great. And now they are rebuilding, but it's, it doesn't look like that. And they start complaining. They start complaining. And Haggai has a message, because then they start kind of just discourage people because ah oh, it's not gonna look like that ah oh, it's not there's nothing like that oh this is no not look at it now this is the temple it was like this it was like and they had all those stories and they start discouraging people and God sent a message from Haggai to that people look what Haggai says chapter 2 verse 9 the glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. That is a message for the people there. The Lord said, look. The glory of this house will be greater than the other, the older house. In this place I will declare peace. I will be present here. I will touch lives. I will save lives. I will transform lives here. It doesn't matter how it looks. You're going to do the best that you can with what you have. And you leave the rest to me. That is the message. That's the message. People say, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look like, well, yeah, it, it, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's, it's not the, the temple that we, we knew, we saw, we remember. Oh, yes, it was different. It is different. Don't worry. The Lord say, don't worry. Keep working. Keep working because the glory of this house will be bigger, better, greater than the glory of the other house. And in this place I will proclaim and bring peace, bring peace. In this place I will grant peace. That is the message that those, don't, don't worry, we're going to hear that, right people? Say, well, we, we don't used to do this. We, we never did this. This is not the way that we're, we did things here. When we're, we're doing the best that we can with what we have. That is, it's okay. God will bless. God will use. And, and that is the goal. To build a place that God will bring His glory and salvation and forgiveness and peace to people. That is the goal. And that is our goal. This is our mission, our ministry. So keep going, keep moving forward, keep working, 
because the Lord will do his part and that's great news and this is our snack for the journey God bless you